Welcome back to Projection of Solids. In this problem, the solid given is a cylinder and the cylinder is resting on HP with its generators. This is not a model of a cylinder. Let us assume this as a cylinder. Cylinder is actually having no base edges and lateral edges. So we have to assume that there are some imaginary generators. Generally, we will draw eight generators. Uh, so one of its generators is resting on HP in this case. The cylinder lies on HP with one of its generators and the axis is inclined to VP at 30 degrees. So this is the orientation. So in this orientation we have to assume the axis inclination as perpendicular in the first case. So we have to assume that the axis is perpendicular to VP. So in this orientation we can see the base view in the front view and the top view is a later view. So we have to start from the base view that is front view. As given in the question, the solid should be resting on HP on its generator. So the, the solid should touch the XY line. Let us draw 8 generators. And let us name all the points. Let us name the front phase as A, B, C, D and rear phase as 1, 2, 3, 4. And now transfer all the points to the top view. And draw the top view. This is the orientation and the front phase is A, B, C, D, rear phase is 1, 2, 3, 4. If you see from the top, the bottom phase is ABCD and the top phase is 1, 2, 3, 4. Now we have named all the points. And now let us include the angle which is 30 degree to VP. So let us draw the same top view in 30 degree inclination. Now we have finished marking all the points. And then let us just project all the points to the front view. Then project the points from this front view and this point corresponds to the points G and 7. G is here and 7 is here. 6 say this thing corresponds to 6 say FH. 6 is here, 8 is here. F is here and H is here. Then this one corresponds to 1, 5, A and E. 1 is here, 5 is here, A is here, E is here. Then this one corresponds to 2, 4 and B, D. 2 is here, 4 is here, B is here, B is here. So the base will correspond to the point C and 3. C comes from, uh, 3 comes from here and C comes from here. Now after marking all the points, we have to connect the outermost points first. After connecting all the outermost threads, we have to see which phase are visible and which phase is invisible. Here, this is front view. So we have to see from this orientation. So if you see from this orientation, the, the phase A, B, C, D will be surely visible and the phase 1, 2, 3, 4 will not be visible. So the A, B, C, D phase should be darkened and 1, 2, 3, 4 phase should be drawn in dotted lines. So let us dark the A, B, C, D phase. And let us draw the 1, 2, 3, 4 phase in dotted lines. That's all. Thank you.